Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought that instead of doing a what I got for Christmas video because I just got lots of like little things and I feel like I'd just be there for too long filming it, I thought that I would do a Boxing Day haul instead because here in Australia we have a thing called Boxing Day which is kind of like Black Friday but it's the day after Christmas where tons of stores just have a whole bunch of sales and people go really really crazy for it. Now I didn't go too crazy with the things that I bought this year because I didn't really need much so I just picked up a few things that sort of caught my eye um, and I'm going to show them to you now. So I'm going to start with the thing that was the best bargain I think. So this is one of um, the Christmas tins that Benefit do each year and this is the one that's got a full size of their real mascara, a full size hula bronzer, a sample of the professional and a sample of a hula lip gloss and these are normally $79 which in itself is great value because you get two full size products and then two minis um, but it was 30% off so it was down to $55.30 um, and that's a bargain because the Hula bronzer on its own is about $51 so I'll just get everything out to show you and these always sell out so I'm actually surprised that I managed to get my hands on one because they're such good value that they just normally go straight away. Um, so I'll show you the little things. So this is the little Hula um, lip gloss and it's quite mini but to be honest I don't really wear lip gloss that often so this size is perfectly fine. And then the mini of the Professional, which my friend actually gave me her mini from a set that she bought which was so nice of her. Um, but now I've got another little mini as well, so that will last me quite a while. And then if I love both of them, I can go back and buy the full size. And a full size of their reel, which I've never actually owned the full size before. I've had a sample of it. Um, but now I've got the full size. Um, and everyone kind of knows of this mascara. It's a bit of a classic. And I really like it, so I'm excited to have that. And then the thing that I'm most excited for is honestly the bronzer. Um, because everybody seems to rave on about the Hula bronzer. Um, so you get the nice little brush in there as well and then there's the bronzer. Okay continuing on with some more makeup and beauty bits that I bought I went to a place called My Chemist and they pretty much sell um, a lot of stock just at a discounted rate and they also had some crazy sales as well. So they had half price of the makeup brands they stock and they stock Maybelline, Revlon and Rimmel. <laughs> I'm holding it in my hand. Um, at least the one near my house, that's what they stock. So I just picked up on a few bits, some of which I'm almost running out of, and then another thing that I wanted to get. Um, so the first is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. It was half price, so I think it was about $6 or so. Um, and I have one of these already, but it's almost, it's, I've hit bottom on it, and I've had it for so long that it's kind of drying out now, so I thought for $6 I'm just going to buy a new one. Another repurchase was the Rimmel Matte BB Cream and I use this in the shade Light and I think this was about 6 or $7 as well and um, I already do use this and I love it. It's really great and really cheap but it just does the job really well and it, I don't know, it just it's a nice um, product. It's not super matte but it's kind of enough um, and then you can just sort of like touch up with powder as you go. Um, but I'm almost running out and my packaging, because it's in a tube, it kind of gets grubby quite easily the more you use it. So I thought it was just time to buy a new one. And the last little thing is this uh, Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in the shade Parisian Passion. And I think that this is the one that Zoe was wearing and I remember she mentioned it in a vlog quite a while back now actually. Um, I think it was sometime this year when autumn just started and I kind of fell in love. Now I'm a bit hesitant and I was hesitant to buy it because it is like a moisture stain so it's not matte when normally with bold colours like this I like to go matte but I've just had my eye on it for so long I thought that I would give it a go and it might pleasantly surprise me and not end up all over my face and I think this came down to about 12 or 13 dollars. The other thing that I picked up from, the, uh, from my chemist was um, another deodorant because let's be honest we all buy deodorant or we all should buy deodorant. Um, and this is just the Dove Clinical Protection, the Fresh Touch, so it's cucumber and green tea. And I've repurchased this many times, but it's been a while since I've used it. Um, I was using a, a Rexona one, but I didn't really... I prefer this, so I went and picked this up, and it was only $10. So the last thing to show you of my super quick haul, I feel like I've been not talking for that long, um, is this leather passport holder from Kiki K. And this was a bargain. I got it for 50% off. 
So it was originally 40 down to 20 and it came beautifully wrapped but I got way too excited and opened it straight away. Um, but you just take it out and it's leather and it's like this navy blue colour as you can see and it obviously says never stop exploring on it. Um, and it's got this quite pretty like square print in the middle and it's got quite not really hard backing but you can tell that there's something in the back to sort of help it like keep its structure and shape um, and then just little Kiki Kiki Co Kiki, Co, <laughs> Kiki K logo um, there you can slot your passport in here add some cards there there's another little pocket here as well and then another like opening here for you to pop anything in that you need and there's a story as to why I bought this actually because you might be thinking oh you're going on a trip so not yet, like nothing's in the works or in motion yet for it, but I really want to get to England by the end of 2016. So by the end of next year, I would love to be spending Christmas in England. So to go there like December time and to stay there for quite like for a couple of weeks because one of my best friends is English and she lives there, but she's here on exchange and whatnot. Anyway, so she's offered for me to come and spend Christmas with her next year. And I thought if I buy myself a passport holder, that's like getting the trip in like it's getting it in motion me going okay I'm being really specific with my purchases and I'm preparing and being organized and hopefully that will really encourage me to save because it's like okay the wheels are in motion this is happening I've already bought a passport holder I don't know if that's just a psychological thing and maybe it won't make a difference but it's just I just loved it and it's so nice and I just can't stop looking at it and the thought of using it to head to England just makes me so excited. So that was all I picked up in the Boxing Day sales. Um, I obviously didn't go too crazy as you can see because I didn't feel the need to and there wasn't anything that I felt like I needed to buy but these things I just couldn't resist obviously. Um, so I hope that you liked this. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas um, and that Santa is good to you because he was certainly good to me um, and I need to stop saying um. Okay, <laughs> so that is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you'll be seeing a lot more of me in 2016. I might try and get another video up before 2016 rolls around, but we'll see if I've got time. I'm working a crazy ton of hours at the moment because Christmas is a busy period, um, but you guys don't care about that. So you'll see more of me in the new year and I'm so excited for everything that's to come. And yeah, I just, I feel like it's going to be my year. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and have a really lovely rest of your day. Bye.